and out. Good evening, guys. It is good to see you again. All right, so it is arm day. We are going to warm up three different arm exercises. We're going to do two rounds of each. So first thing we're going to do is do shoulder tap. I'm going to get in a push-up position. Not on my knees this time. I'm just going to raise up, tap the shoulder, go down. Just like that, ready, 10 of these. Here we go, everybody push up position. On my count, we're going 10, ready, up. And here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, nice job. All right, next thing, nice and easy push ups on our knees. We're just gonna go down and up 10 times. I know all of you guys know how to do this already. So here we go, ready, 10. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job, all right. Next one is going to be something a little bit new. This is going to be very similar to the shoulder tap, except we're going to have a different target. So I'm going to be in this position. Instead of reaching across and hitting my shoulder, I'm going to reach back and try this my thigh. It's going to be somewhere in the thigh and knee area. Just, I just take this hand, I go straight back with it, touch, touch. Just try and hit a couple different muscles with a kind of a similar exercise. So here we go, push up position. Raise up in three, two, one, up. And here we go, 10 of these. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. <laughs> nice job. All right. Going back to the top of the round, we are doing the shoulder tap one more time. So give yourself a break if you need to. We're doing a lot of push-up position tonight. Here we go. Feet back, ready, raise up. 10 of these, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, knees on the ground, ready. Knees down, push-up position. Same thing, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job, all right, last one, thigh taps. Let's go ahead and work your way into that push-up position. Raise up in a couple seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Raise up. Here we go. Ten. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Relax. Nice job, guys. Arms are probably shaking a little bit. That means we're doing good. All right, so today we're gonna to do a little bit of basics to warm up. It's gonna be two blocks and two kicks. Just kind of a little bit of review. Uh, for high rank, I'm gonna give you a couple combinations to play with too. Gonna make your mind work just a little bit. Not as bad as my full combination mixes, but you know, something different. All right, so. To review, first thing we're gonna do is gonna be a low block. We're gonna do it from a back stance. So, so back stance, whatever foot out, doesn't really matter. One hand in front, one hand tucked to the solar plexus. We're gonna do this move by move, everybody together, just as a little bit of a, a basics review here. So one prepare, I come around. If you're high rank, go ahead and throw that grind block down here. I'm gonna do the low rank version. Here we go, two step. Check that stance, make sure you're stabilized. Ready, three, low block. And check it, does it cross past the knee? Do I block that leg? And four, punch. 
Here we go. We're gonna take a step back this time. It's ready, one prepare. Check it, is it, is it touching the shoulders or resting here? We don't want that, we want to float. We want that elbow right in the center of the nose if you can. Ready, two step. Set that stance, check everything. Ready, three, block. Make sure it goes, clears the knee. And four, punch. Nice job, all right, couple more by the numbers. Ready, one prepare. Check that elbow, that's the biggest detail we mess up on. Ready, two step. Three, block. Clears the knee, four, punch. All right, one more time, nice and slow. Ready, one prepare. Two step back. Three, low block. Check it, four, punch. All right, we're gonna speed it up a little bit, add a little bit of power. Don't compromise technique though. I want you to add some pop in, but I don't want it to look sloppy at the same time. So here we go, ready? All on one count, here we go. One. Going backwards, ready, two. Ready, three. Ready, four. Five. And six. All right, nice job. So relax for a second, high rank. This is where we're gonna get a little bit tricky. It is going to be a low block, bounce, high block. Things to check with the high block. I want this bicep as close to my ear as I can get it. About a 45 degree angle, even maybe a little bit more than that. I want to see that deflection. That's my goal. I want anything that hits this to just bounce right off. So anything, we'll, we'll say green belt above, it is low, bounce, high. Everybody else just stick with me. Here we go. Back stance, ready. One. Ready, two. And six. All right, bro. And show. All right, go ahead and relax for a second. Stretch it out. All right, so something to focus on with this low block, like I was talking about. We get really lazy with this prepare hand. A lot of times we either rest it on our shoulder or it kind of comes about halfway up. A proper low block prepare should come all the way up. My elbow should be center on my body, just like this. So it should be even on each side. Similar to, if you guys know what a rear naked choke is, it's that same position. My elbow is right in the center. I have my, my arms at an equal angle on each side. So it's that same position, different block though. All right, so one more time. It is going to be low bounce high for high rank. Everybody else, let's go fast this time. Here we go, step into that back stand a little more time. And front hand is up, back hand is on the solar plexus. Here we go, ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ready, ten. Nice job, everybody. All right, roll and show. All right, shake it out. So, did our low block. Now we are going to focus on our high block. So, for high rank, doing the opposite now. It is high, low. And I'll show you that one more time in a second. So, with this high block, like I said, now everybody's focusing on it. So, bicep right next to that ear, as close as you can get it. 45 degree angle. 
make sure this is strong. The other thing I don't want to see is when I throw this high lock, I don't want you to punch it up there. What I mean is like that. I want to see it come straight from my belly button, straight up. It should be a straight line all the way up. Some people like to punch across, and we don't want to do that. Because if I have something coming in, and I throw this across, if I miss it, it still hits me. If I have this, I can always, I can always drop down. It's coming straight up versus trying to catch it on the side. Just a lot easier to block whatever's coming out. So, backstand one more time. And check that backstand real quick too, where the feet in alignment. I want to make sure they're not crossed. That's the most important thing. Back knee bent over that foot. Check that real quick. All right. So, with a low rank version, it is going to be prepare, step high lock, reverse punch. With uh, the high rank version, it is prepare, step, high, low, reverse punch. Exactly. All right, here we go. I will be doing the low rank version. Ready? One, two, back and up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right, shake it out for a second, relax. All right, how many of you guys felt that kind of urge to punch across rather than go straight up? Anybody feel that kind of side motion at all? All right, good. That's very good. That's that's a great thing to focus on. It's just point A, so my belly button. Right above my head, my fish should go straight. That's a great goal. Another thing you can start to get into when you're a little bit higher rank. We say 45 degree angle. When you're a low rank, always abide by that. When you're a little bit high rank, I do not mind if you extend that angle a little bit up, like I was saying. What that does is it kind of so 45 degree angle, I hit that, it slides off pretty easy. If I take this angle and I increase it a little bit, it slides off even easier kind of like a steeper ramp versus a shallower ramp. Same concept, if I have something come over that in my head, it'll just brush up nice and easy. You'll see Master Young do this drill all the time, it'll come up to these black belts and just throw, throw a, almost like a night kick right over. And the question is, does it crumple and hit him in the head or does it just break off? If you do this correctly, it will just brush off to the side, nice and easy. So one more time, 10 reps. Except this time it's the speed round. High rank and low rank. You want to see as fast as you can go. Here we go. Ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Last one, ready, 10. All right, roll and show. Nice job, guys. Even if you got a little bit behind, that's totally okay. I just want to make you guys burn a little bit. All right, so we have our two blocks. Now it is time for two kicks. So last time we did this, we did a front foot snap and a front foot thrust. This time we're going to focus on our side kick. So, this is going to be a front foot round and a front foot uh, side. We'll talk about step behind side and slide up side. So, starting off with the front foot round. With the front foot round, a couple things I want to focus on. One, I need to be in a really good back stance. I don't want my feet crossed at all because then I'm off balance right from the get go. Two, after I slide up, I want to see a lift 
I should have this foot chamber, comes out, re chamber, set it out. The big thing I want you to focus on is bringing this foot up, kicking, and then fall. I don't want you to set that weight on that foot. Your goal here is to maintain the weight of this back stand. So it should be 60% of your weight on your back foot, 40% on your front foot. That way we just lift that thing out of the way. It's nice and light. It's a good sparring technique too. If I land on this foot really hard, I take that out super duper easy. If I keep my weight back, that's a lot harder for me to get taken down. So we're gonna do 10, just nice and easy, front foot round, everybody. Here we go. One by the numbers, ready, slide up. We're gonna lift. Extend, bring it back, and down. All right, and you can feel free to adjust your space too if you need to. So ready, two, slide up, bring it up, extend, back, down. All right, last one by the numbers, here we go, ready. Slide up, prepare, kick, bring it back, and down. All right, all on one count now, here we go. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job. All right, cheek and I real quick. So another good detail, this is more for high ranks, more of a high rank kind of thing to worry about. When I throw this roundhouse, yes, we want our foot to be sideways. The further detail of this is at a certain point, I want to try and take my toes and even push them down a little bit. What I mean by that is when I extend this foot, if my toes are lower than my heel, it's actually a better roundhouse kick. Opposed to if I slide up and my toes are up like this, that's not as good. So my goal is to turn that hip over and get those toes just slightly under that heel. It's good if you can get there. A completely horizontal foot is great. A little bit of that bend is even better. So try and focus. The, the big part about this is turning that hip over. It's something we have a lot of trouble with in our side kicks too, because a lot of us keep our hips kind of facing this way, and we kind of kick with the inside almost. I want to turn this hip over, try with the back. So for high rank, you're going to focus on getting those toes down a little bit. It is going to be, um, round and above is going to be a hook round. Just going to add a little bit of something extra for you. So round and above, it is slide up, hook, round. Nice and easy. Everybody else, actually I'll say, I'll say green and purple, it's a double round. So slide up, one, two. Just like that. Everybody else, single front foot round tools. Here we go. We'll start with the right foot and the switch. Ready? One. Looking good. Ready? Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, shake it out, switch feet. Here we go, same thing, left foot now. Probably the worst foot for most of you. Some of you, it's gonna be your good foot. So, either or. Here we go, ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 
And last one, 10. Nice job. All right, throw. And so, go ahead and relax, shake it out for a minute. All right. You guys sweating already? I know I am. Nice and hot outside too, adds to it. All right, so we talked about turning the hip over a little bit. We're gonna apply the side kick to that same principle. So the side, the side kick is even worse with this because we, we almost all do it. When I throw this side kick, the biggest thing that almost everyone does wrong is they bring it straight up. When I bring this straight up, I'm not engaging my glutes, my hamstrings as much as I can be. The best way to chamber this knee is to bring it up and away. When I do this, I'm essentially taking my leg, for, for example, if I have my arm, same kind of muscle groups, kind of, roughly. If I take my arm and I try and push it out that way, it's very hard. This deltoid just isn't meant to bring that leg out as well. But if I take it back, I, or forward even, I have all these muscles that are meant to move that direction. Same thing with my legs. I don't have a lot of muscles that are pushing that way very strong, but I walk and I run every day. So these muscles are meant to push back and forth. I want to use that. So instead of pushing sideways, which works, just not as well, I want to engage the glutes, the hamstrings. I want to turn this back, kick in. The difference is it's almost wheel kickish, except I'm not turning completely 180. So I lift this drive with all these muscles back here. It is a more powerful kick. You'll be more controlled with your kick. And it just it is just better overall. So we're going to do 10 of these nice and slow. Our goal, bring the knee back, turn this hip out, extend nice and slow, chamber, bring it back. I'm not worried about strength. I'm not worried about speed. As best as you can do it, just focus on that hip. That's the most important thing right now. So here we go. Four stance. Hands are up, I'm gonna slide, bring the knee up, extend, bring it back, and down. All right, ready, two, slide up, bring it up, extend, retract, reset. Here we go, three, slide, lift, kick, and down. Ready, four, up, kick, and down, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. All right, shake it out, switch feet. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Nice and slow, don't forget. Just work on this technique as hard as it might be to pull that side kick. This is where you're still putting all the power into this. So it'll change your side kick forever, I promise. Here we go. We're staying, hands are up, ready. Slide, lift, kick, and reset. Ready, two. Ready, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and 10. All right, roll. And so, let her relax, shake it out. All right, who felt a difference in their kick? Did that feel different, the, the physical kick of turning the hip? I feel different to anybody? All right, I got some of you, awesome. That's good. It is a really small detail that we don't think about a lot. It's something we talk about a lot at the black belt level. Though. So I think it's important that you guys see it too, because it is something that pretty much all of us have done at one point. Maybe we don't do it anymore, but it is absolutely a part of all of our kicks. All right, so 
All right, one more drill for you guys. There's going to be a speed drill, a little bit of sparring technique in there. So we're going to do a hands technique and a foot technique, and then maybe mix a little bit of both if we have some time. It's going to be for speed. So first technique is going to be back fist, step in, double punch. So one, two. So I'm going for, in sparring, I'm going for the forehead anywhere here. If I'm looking for an actual target, I'm thinking nose, eye socket, anything in there. First strike, second strike, I'm coming into the rib. Third strike, I'm going side of the head, maybe brachial plexus if I want to be really mean. So one more time, back fist, step in, one, two. All right, so we are going to do five off each side, switch, then we'll do the foot techniques. Here we go, hands are up. Your goal here is speed. We're just going to burn this. Ready, one. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, switch feet. Here we go, same thing, other side. Ready, one. six. Nice job. All right, shake it out. Next combination is going to be a kicking combination. If you don't know what a crescent kick is, just try it. There's no harm in it. So what it is going to be, it is a chasing round. So I'm, I'm going after this guy. I'm going to step, throw the round. Then the back foot is going to go into an outside crescent. I'm going to either plant or you can try and keep the knee up if you want. Stick the side kick. One more time, it is a chasing roundhouse. I'm going after him with tap. One, two. It is totally okay to plant the foot, then go in. If you want the extra challenge, try and balance on that knee, then strike in. All right, so six off each side. Ready? One. Ready, two. Switch your feet. Yeah. Same thing on the side. Make sure you're treating this like a fight. It's almost like if you're green belt above and we do our one steps. I want to engage this like a fight. My hands are always up. I'm always moving a little bit, maybe shifting my weight back up. Think of this like a fight scenario, especially because we can't spar again. So, same thing on the side. Up around, outside, side. Here we go. Ready? One. Last one, ready, six. And brawl. Show. Nice job, guys. Go and relax. All right. Well, we are out of time, so we're going to stretch out. That's okay. You're off the hook. No, no combo. All right. We are going to stretch out our arms a little bit first because that's what we worked really hard. So, first one. Straight across, lock the arm in place. Stretch out all these shoulder muscles, deltoid, trapezius, all this stuff in here. Get that nice and loosened up. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Release nice and easy. Other side, same thing. Ready, five, four, three, two, 
One, nice. All right, I'm gonna do one of my stretches, which is take my hand behind my back, grab it, and pull it together. I'm gonna arch my back too, stretch out some of these back muscles. It's an interesting stretch, but I've always found it useful. It kind of loosens up my upper back a little bit. Pull it to five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, this hand goes behind, grabs, pull it a little bit, and then arch that back. Three, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna do what I refer to as the seal stretch, which is down on the ground like this, nice and easy. We're gonna go down, almost in a push up position, and then we're just gonna push up off the ground. For an extra stretch, you can bring your chin all the way up as far as you can. And you can press the core a little bit. You go five. Four, three, two, one. Then we're going, going to go into child's pose. So from here, I'm just going to shift back. My hands are going to drag. I'm just hang out here. Five, four, three, two, one, and up nice and slow. All right, last one. I'm going to get these wrists stretched out a little bit. So. Be gentle on your wrists. Some of you guys are going to have some uh, rough wrists that just some people are more flexible than others. So my backs of my hands are going to go on the mat. Just put a little bit of pressure. Just going to stretch out these forearms a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. I'm going to take my palms of my hands. They're going to go down. Ten hold. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Release that nice and slow. All right. Sensory kicks too. Might as well get the legs in there. Nice splits on the ground. Best position to do. Just start in the middle. Both hands out. Left leg, try to keep that knee down as best you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly work your way back to center, going to the right foot this time. Keep that knee down, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Relax. All right, last one. Butterfly position. Pull those feet in. First thing, don't even worry about bringing your nose down. We're just going to push our knees down to start. Get the stretch started here. In 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, now go ahead and take your nose down. Get that hip stretch in there. Here we go, 10 seconds, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and release nice and slow. All right, you guys did an awesome job tonight. Let's bow it out. And then you guys can say bye. Here we go. I straight. And...